What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be restoring the most wrecked C8 that you've ever seen. We're gonna bring it back to life. Let's get into today's video. All right guys, so I wanna give you guys a little rundown of how everything works when we get a car like this or any car that comes in for insurance work or collision repair. As you know, we do collision repair for insurance claims, auto body, wide body kit, you name it, anything to do with body work, classic cars, all that stuff. A lot of other shops don't wanna to touch those cars, but hey, we do, we don't mind doing that. As you know, we do upholstery, and mechanical work so the normal rundown will receive the car especially like this car was pretty bad so it had to get towed in either after schedule a tow have them tow it in have a spot secure because it's not movable so we have to kind of find a spot put it on jack stands and then kind of go from there as you saw this car was pretty pretty damaged so being it's a new car our normal procedures we kind of check it in look at the car mark it and see what it's going to need and then from there what we do is uh we go ahead and sit on our computer here and uh, we go through our different ECC estimating software so we can go all through there's headlights and kind of dictate what it's gonna need as far as you know the parts and everything like that uh, once that is done we go ahead and submit a supplemental to the insurance company with any additional work and parts that we might need as you can see this one had a long list which is the c8 you know the whole thing with this as well is that it takes a little bit longer to get the parts and we have to you know find out which ones are the correct parts so like they'll send us the the front end of the car you know hey it's gonna need you know this screw this clip you know so on and so forth i mean there's a lot of components and a lot that goes into insurance estimate and being able to qualify the the parts that it's going to need with, um, for the collision you know for the collision estimate to be submitted and approved and once we get all that we can submit it get approval and um and then go from there and order parts that's another issue sometimes parts take a little bit longer to get here but once we get the parts you know then we kind of tag them put a po for that specific car being the c8 and then as parts start trickling in then we can kind of make a game plan on what we're going to do uh, on this the first things first was the suspension because it was not drivable at all it also knocked out the radiator condenser on that whole side control arm upper control arm it had air right system on that thing uh, so we wanted to make sure at least it was drivable so we can get it back into our bay so we can do you know body work and fit all the pieces that 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 we had to do to get that car up and running so as you're seeing here here's some of the pictures of the car man it came in pretty pretty bad the whole side was wiped out you're talking about the bumper everything, all the sensors on it condenser radiator hoses fan that whole side the door fender the wheel was wiped out the caliper brakes so there was a lot of components to get that thing up and running but once we got it up and running uh we took it back to the shop and started fitting all the parts and getting it ready as you're gonna see now let's get down to the nitty-gritty and get this thing uh repaired so let's go right, guys so you remember we've been working on the c8 and we have all the pieces we got them prepped out and painted but we have to remove this uh, old rocker and it's been panel bonded on in that it's fiberglass so in order to get it off in pieces it's gonna have to come out in pieces because it's panel bonded under so we cut some sections out and we're gonna take this off one thing as you saw we prepped out this is the new complete rocker molding it's been painted already even though we're still gonna put it on and probably blend and match everything to the car we might as well paint it so we can get everything encompassed and, and, and painted nice so we're gonna go ahead and take off the rocker down here All right, now that we got the rocker on, Mataucitos, better known as Luis, is gonna help me mock this one up. We're gonna hang the door and everything, make sure everything fits before we fully panel bond and make sure everything's good, so let's get it on. We're now gonna fully install it in a sense where we're gonna put all the panel bond where it goes. We're gonna put on the latch mechanism. We're gonna hang the door and make sure everything's off. 
we move the quarter panel off away to get everything to it. So once it's set and everything's good to go, we'll go ahead and panel bond it. I'll show you what panel bond we use to get this on. We'll continue with the repair, but she's looking more and more like a, not such a salvage C8, but a good shape C8, so let's go. All right, so now that we have it, bolted into place this is going to help us align this rocker to have you know the gapping where it's supposed to go we'll be able to do some pre-drilling for alignment purposes and then once we have that then we can fully panel bond it take the door off get this thing uh panel bonded. all We've been working on the C8, got a little bit more progress. We went ahead and fitted the new light onto the bracket and all the parts we replaced. We also got the fender put on, hood installed and aligned because uh, it was kind of out of whack. So we got it to get everything pretty much aligned where it's supposed to go. So the next, next thing we have to do is fit the bumper to make sure everything's gonna fit uh, correctly. After that, I think it's all downhill from there. It's pretty much ready to get blown apart to do the final paint, get everything aligned, then we can assemble the rest of the stuff. Uh, there is some stuff we have to fix here on this side and also just like prepping the rest of the stuff. I think we still have some interior stuff to assemble, as you can see, see steering, airbags, but she's almost there. So let's fit this bumper and let's uh, hope she's good to go. Let's go. Right, so we got the bumper on this thing. Everything's lining up perfectly. So we have the other bumper that we're going to be transferring all the other stuff. This side, as you can see, got obliterated and it's gone. The harness stuff. We already got, I think, a new harness because that one got messed up. So we got a new harness. So we're going to transfer all the centers, cameras, and see if we're missing any other stuff. This thing is coming closer. It's pretty cool to see. This used to be all blown out, not drivable, and to have it close to looking finished is pretty awesome. So uh, we're gonna take care of that. Final order on parts, and we'll get this thing uh, wrapped up, paint, and uh, maybe some burnouts now. Right now. So we're doing the final buttoning up underneath the car. Splash shield, because these were all broken from the accident. So everything's fully, fully secure. And uh, down shortly so we can take it for a drive. All right, as you know, we've been working on the C8 that was in a very, very bad collision. We got this thing put together. We still have a couple finishing touches. We're gonna be putting some new brake pads and rotors. From the accident, one side was damaged, but just to make it right, you can put one side. These are performance brakes. It looks like he used them pretty hard. So we're gonna go ahead and replace both rotors. They probably warp, needs new pads. So get this thing swapped out. Kevin's gonna get these things on here. And hopefully we go on a test drive and uh, see how this thing uh, rips. So let's check it out. So Kevin finished putting on the brakes on this thing. We did a little quick test drive. She's good to go. So now we get get down to the nitty gritty, get this thing all cleaned up and polished. Like you saw, we pretty much painted most of the car and the finish would be acceptable for OEM, but you know us, we wanna give it that OEM plus. So Etuan and Noah are gonna finish the detail on this thing, get this thing looking good uh, before it goes back to its owner. It's been a while, so get this thing buffed up.
guys, so we got the C8 all detailed up. A12 buffed it. This thing looks like it just came off the showroom floor. We're gonna give it a quick wash. I got my special helpers to do that. So uh, let's get to cleaning. How's it looking in there, Tino? Good. You see you're doing a good job? Customers coming, you have to make sure it's nice and clean, right? Good job. Let me see, give me the thumbs up. Hey, SOS Customs, we it's, got you covered. SOS Customs, we got you covered. All right, guys, so we got this thing all detailed up. It looks, I'm telling you, better than factory. I think with the little cut and buff we did on this thing, it looks so, so good. Let me give you guys that little 360 walk around. Maybe we could uh, take it for a spin, you know? So we actually took it back to uh, Chevy, the dealership, and they did a full scan, make sure everything was all good to go. They updated the transmission, no check engine codes, everything's all good, legit. So um, we're gonna go take it for a test drive, but let me give you that walk around. And those red guts. Damn, it's fresh, fresh, fresh. Let's give it that good old startup. So you see, got this thing fully, fully fixed, restored. Got it checked by GM, everything's good to go. So we do a lot, a lot of collision repair. And so you guys can trust us. The one cool thing that we offer as well is that a lot of people that get into these collision repairs and have custom cars, custom body kits or anything like that, a lot of shops don't want to touch that, but we're not afraid. So if you guys have any collision repairs, on your exotic cars, new cars that have aftermarket stuff on it. We're no stranger to that, so welcome to bring it back, buy it with us to get that thing fixed. So just wanna thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you hit that like and notification button for new up-to-date videos and here at SOS Customs, got you covered. Peace.